Oh my God, are you serious? We were friends. What is their problem with me? What's up everybody, I'm Kelsey and The Sims 4 for Rent is releasing so soon. I was lucky enough to be chosen to get to play with it. Thank you so much to EA and the Creator Network for inviting me to access this expansion pack early. I'm so excited to dive in today, but specifically we're going to look at one gameplay aspect and that is the new death. There's apparently a new death in The Sims 4, a death by mold. I'm very curious to see how easy it is to get this death. So we are going to be playing as Chelsea, a future landlord who hopefully will be dealing with mold. And so she or her occupants will die in this episode, I hope. I'm excited to check out a little bit of this pack together and hopefully kill some Sims. I have challenges where I maketh and challenges where I taketh away. If you're interested in more dead, I did a whole challenge where I killed 100 Sims. You can go check that out. Or if you're more interested in life, you can check out my series, the 100 infant challenge of which we are going very strong with I think over 60 infants so far. So check that out. This is Chelsea Peaches May. I did have to remake her so if she doesn't look perfect that's why also the reason why this little Kelsey Dangerous is popping around is because again this is early access and this isn't even the full game yet so since we only have that access I thought we'd give Chelsea a bit of a little makeover I thought we'd try on some of these different hairs see if Chelsea needs an upgrade she looks completely different with different hairs I'm not gonna lie she just does not look like the same sim to me oh nice little that bun is so pretty with the slick back kind of like an upgraded version of her current hair which is fun Chelsea with bangs she looks a lot younger I mean this is the prequel you know she's got a tat and bangs let's check out the for rent outfits really quick this one's kind of cute I mean I'm not really seeing any overalls this is kind of Chelsea's go-to. This could be a good one. Chelsea does love the color blue, so she tends to wear a lot of that. What does this look like when it's not? Oh, okay. I was like, what does this look like when it's not black? Cause I really can't tell. It's like kind of a shirt over a shirt. There's some little fits that you can unlock. That's fun. I'm gonna go with this. Do we have any new shoes? We do have some new shoes. I'm liking these. Honestly, I would love a pair of my own. Blues don't. No, the blues match. Cause this is the blue from her shirt. Let's see, Chelsea's normally family oriented a bit of a romantic, but I think that we're gonna switch it up because there's some new traits. We've got child of the village. These Sims love feeling anchored to their community and Tomorani culture, keeping in touch with loved ones and engaging in activities that remind them of home is important for being happy. Cringe. These Sims are obnoxiously oblivious and sometimes met with polarizing reactions. Cringe Sims can be socially unaware of their surroundings at times, but have an adorable enthusiasm for life. I personally hate this new trait. I just don't see cringe as like a person personality so much as like a thing we all do sometimes. I don't think there's anyone who's never been cringe in their life. Saying this is a personality is just weird to me. I like nosy. Sims who thrive on gossip, snooping, and spying. They are of incredibly poor boundaries and don't quite understand what personal space is, but they will discover secrets by any means necessary. I love that for Chelsea. I think we should definitely do that. I'll go with Neat since she is going to hopefully be a landlord. Although she's gonna have to deal with mold so maybe she shouldn't be, maybe she should be lazy. There's some new ones, okay. Discerning dweller. This sim aspires to be the perfect tenant and neighbor in a residential rental, cute. The fount of Tomorani knowledge. This sim wants to immerse themselves in everything Tomorang has to offer. There's also the seeker of secrets. The sim loves the thrill of discovering juicy secrets about their sims. What they do with that information has yet to be decided. Okay, there's at least four different new aspirations, which is kind of fun. I love a new aspiration. This one says five-star property owner. This sim wants to be the best property owner this world has ever seen. I'm gonna go with that one. Is there any new likes and dislikes? I'm thinking no. Carnival beats music. I think that's already been here. I just haven't seen that icon. All right, there's no new likes and dislikes, but that's really interesting. I like the new traits except for cringe. I just think having cringe in this game is a little cringe. Is that weird? I don't know. Kelsey Dangerous is moving. There's already a property owner there. 
That one doesn't have a property owner. So maybe we could live here with the Lynn Sadia friends. I moved to the Sim End just to like test a couple things. This is my own Sim, Scruggs. That was a randomized last name, which I thought was kind of cute. This one, Bun Ma, obviously too expensive for us. There's pretty much just two rental options. This one already has a property owner and this one doesn't. So I'll go, which does, does it show which one has mold already? Lot traits, lot challenges mold. So that one has mold. Well, maybe we'll just kick out the Sim, but then we can't be a property owner. So just be Chelsea that would have to die of mold, which is unfortunate. I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah. Yeah, unit challenge is mold. Perfect. Purchase a residential rental. Where are you going, girl? I wanna buy the residential rental. This is my rental now, baby. My daily rental income is 245 and the daily unit tax is 100 simoleons. So we're only making like 145, I would guess. I honestly don't know how this all works. So we're gonna have to learn. Handle a maintenance event and perform an inspection pass. But I want to make sure, hello? I thought this was my house. Okay, no, this is still my house, but that has unit challenges as mold. I'm gonna edit this house through build and buy. So apparently we can like build and buy the whole thing and then we can build and buy parts of it. Here we go. We already have the three different rental units. So we've got the blue one is the upstairs, it belongs to one family. This pink one is another family and then the green one's me. The green one has mold. This one is also gonna have mold. And this one, say it with me kids, also gonna have mold. They're all gonna have mold. All of them. So I have three chances. There's no new traits. It's just a new challenge, which is mold. And then there's also maintenance trouble available with for rent. It's only on residential. This is interesting. So this is like a, for a residential, not a rental lot. And then here's all the new items. Oh my gosh, look at them all. The new squat toilet. That's cool. Oh my gosh. This looks like a new shower. I love the new tile, the new sink. Everything looking good. We got even a little kid's room. For Chelsea. Let's save and go to the managed world. So we put mold in everywhere. I wonder if there's mold in other places, if I'll be able to see the mold kill them. Hopefully, you know, one can hope. Apparently I'm visiting the upstairs neighbors. The unit's rating has been updated due to changes made for build mode, such as an addition or a removal of objects or as a result of live mode. The residential property is changed because I added mold everywhere. So right now I'm visiting, reviewing the agreement. No social events, no loud noises, maximum occupancy. See, no trash, no ghosts, four star unit. So I think it might've been a five star and then they got mold. Everybody's doing okay. Let's go back to our own place and see how long it takes for mold to appear. Chelsea's coming in. She's gonna go watch TV. Look at that. Is that a rice cooker? That's cool. I'm assuming that's from being the property owner. I like these little window coverings. I don't love this bed. Maybe we make it an office. I don't want a kid's room, okay? I have too much trauma. Looks like no new desks from this pack. Any new chairs? Oh, there's new chairs, some little dining chair. It's pretty, I like it. We got this other dining chair, very cute. And then this kind of indoor and outdoor plastic chair. Classic, go with that one. No new computers, we have a little desktop. New rugs, ooh, there's new rugs. I love a rug. Ooh, so there's a bigger one and then a smaller version of the same rug. Are they only leaves? Okay, it's just leaves. I don't know how much I wanna use that. This one is pretty, got several different patterns. And there's welcome mats. You know, I've been wanting welcome mats for a long time in The Sims. Normal looking welcome mats that aren't like dog related. I'm so happy about that. Let's do this nice little leaf one in green. And then I kind of want to look at this. I don't know how I feel about these four colors. Kind of boring, but it's all good. What other things do we do? Activities. Ooh, they've got a new bar. They've got marbles for kids. Marble game ring. New lamps. New stuff for the walls so we can make the walls look lived in. Okay, these are all free, so that's good. It's like these bigger ones over here that aren't. Oh, and there's like a little bar gallery one. Oh, and there's like a new truck from this pack. That's cute. I'm liking these new countertops. There's a mini fridge. Oh, a new bar stool that is really cute. New plants! Oh my gosh, this plant is named Bob. We honestly have no idea what plant this is, so we named it Bob. Hi, Bob. I love that. I love Bob the plant. Flightless bird of paradise. Oh, it's a bird of paradise. Oh, that's a pretty one. Then there's this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna use that all the time. And this one. This does look like it could go well outdoors. Put these guys next to each other. They could form a band. Oh, and this like outdoor area seems to be shared. We've got 
got a beautiful memorial area, I think is what it is, or like mini temple. Spirit house, okay. By placing an ornate wonder on the corner of one's property, the subsequent flush of calm can center even the rockiest of auras. I like that. I'm wondering if we get a mood lit from interacting with it. <gasps> we do! Soothing smell from placing aromatic incense. Peaceful aroma envelops the air, allowing Chelsea to feel a sense of contentment. You're gonna need it, Chelsea, because mold is coming. And I'm excited. I am also excited to interact with this toilet. I wanna see if the animation looks different than usual. Let's see. Oh yeah, she got a squat. Yeah, it is different. What's this say? Glutes on fire from using squat toilet. Ouch, Chelsea did not particularly enjoy using a toilet that required her to squat. Way too many muscles required for that. Oh my God. Is there any new channels? No. Chelsea's getting on her computer. Maybe gonna write something. Oh yeah, she did. I didn't even tell her to acquire the writing skill. Chelsea's a writer through and through. Okay, we need to handle a maintenance event. Keep your tenants happy by attending to maintenance events. When a maintenance event occurs, visit the rental unit and short up the issue and perform an inspection pass. Visit a rental that your sim owns. Select various breakable objects and choose how to do inspected maintenance. Start with toilets, sinks, showers, and ovens. Maybe we should try that. Or see if, you know, anyone else is experiencing mold. We could also break in. Let's visit unit, check out, see if everything's up to my standards. So far, nothing's up to my standards because there's no mold in the house. It's okay, someone will die of mold. Hello, house next door, which honestly looks so fun. I love what you've done with the place. All right, we're gonna do an inspection pass. So do we have to like knock on the door to be let in? Someone gonna let me in? Okay, great. They said, come on in. Perfect. Although I don't see anyone in this house. Let's start with toilets, sinks, showers, or ovens. Okay, so let's start with the toilet and do an inspection and maintenance. She's got a little notepad that she's writing down. Dun, 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 dun. Inspect our Chelsea. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, she's fixing it. Wow, she's so handy. There's only three levels of this aspiration. The reward trait is home manager Maven. Sims with this trait are more successful at solving <laughs> tenants' emergency and maintenance events, build strong relationships with tenants, and have increased ratings on owned residential areas. That's nice. Well, no mold in here yet. How long does it take for mold to start growing? Who's this? I want to do the special world introduction. No, 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 don't chat, don't chat. I want the Tomorani introduction. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. We're talking about a truth. She seemed a little uncomfortable. Time for a Tomarang truth. My dream is to own a motorbike. That way I can new scoot goof around town. It would make trips to the store a lot quicker. New scoot goof. Is that a thing that people say? New scoot goofing. I feel like I've heard that actually. I can't just lug bags of groceries home. My ice cream would melt. This way I could scoot a boot and make it home in time for Sunday Sundays in this heat. My favorite Sunday is my own concoction, Goof Foot ice cream. Don't let the name fool you. It has loads of toppings. Thank you for sharing your truth with me. Oh, we just got a sentiment. Ask about rental conditions. Any mold, girl? You noticing anything deadly here? I kind of hate to move in and then try to hope for someone's death. That's, that does make me a little comfortable. Commend the tenants. You guys are great tenants. I hope nothing bad happens to anyone. I'm gonna go take a steamy shower and hope mold grows. The usual. Oh my God, there's a child here. Hi, Cam. Don't mind me. I'm finishing up a shower. Oh, that interaction was so cute. Is that her aunt? All right, let's introduce ourselves. Any mold? It's looking like they're getting interesting relationships. Let's see the profile. Tenant. Okay, so this is tenant, multi-unit neighbor. So there's some extra relationships that come into play. Check in on Cam. I guess we can check in on her. I don't, I don't know if that's from the new pack or not. Impersonate family member. That's creepy. Why would we do that? Trade marble is cute. We would need marbles to do it. Gossip about neighbors. Okay. Chelsea's going back on the computer. Apparently my tenants have decided that they are invited in my home. I don't know if that was the thing that I meant to do. Well memed my friend from cringe sim memeing it up. I understood that reference. Oh my God. So she is cringe and talking about memes. That colorful event that just happened. All that animation was cringeness. I thought that was cute. Oh my gosh, we're getting welcome to the neighborhood. All right, hello. Let's invite the neighbors in and maybe spy on them. They're like, let's meet the new landlord. 
Do we like learn anything? Don't be suspicious from nosy Sim, clearly spying. Just keep snooping, just keep snooping. Thank you all for coming, I guess. Not really learning anything about these families. And I'm not getting any molds. Wait, there's a white spot on the floor. Do you think if I leave it, it'll get mold? One can hope. I do feel guilty about possibly killing alternate universe Chelsea. I'm doing it for science. I really want to give unwarranted advice or pry for secrets. I feel like I should wait. So I like get to know people a little bit better. Ooh, my joking is getting up there. I'm feeling energized from my spying. Oh, he's on my computer, bro. Block computer for everyone but Chelsea. Let's go get some more truths from this man so he'll get off my computer. I wanna talk to you, sir. Get off my computer, please, and thank you. Tell me a truth. Oh, he said no. Sorry, we're not close enough to be sharing secrets. I didn't know they were secrets. Let's pry him for secrets. Oh my God, are they talking about me out here? I'm gonna spy on this guy. I think he's the former owner of this place, actually. Okay, I'm gonna spy on him a little bit. I'm gonna be like, what is this deal? Good job, Chelsea. Keep spying, keep spying. She just take another shower. Ooh, there's another spot over here. Yeah, keep the bathroom wet. Wetness breeds mold, I think. I wanna pry some people for secrets. Who seems like a weak link in the family that would tell me some secrets? Maybe this guy, honestly, because we talked to him the most. Let's go pry him for secrets. Let's give him some unwarranted advice. What I would do if I were a man in a button-down shirt. Oh, he didn't like it. Feeling bleak in Willow Creek. What's that? You know what? I'm just so tired of hearing everyone talk about Willow Creek all the time. It's always like, Willow Creek this, Willow Creek that. I can't stand it anymore. I hate Willow Creek. I've spent way too much time there, but to me, even one minute is too long. It's just so willowy and too creaky. And you know that grass is green on the other side saying, what if the grass in Willow Creek is a little too green. Ever think about that? Alan was the first to break. Thank you for telling me about this. I want to give you a pep talk. Let's talk about your favorite color. Oh, he likes red and yellow. That's nice. And he's self-dessured. Okay, he changed. It looks like he's got work. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my mold. What were you doing? Stop that right now. That is my mold. It's allergenic. That is mold that isn't going to hurt us. Please leave. That is my mold. Thank you. I thought we were getting close. No, no, you dare. You can destroy it with fire. You can clean it or you can deploy mold be gone bomb. I'm doing none of those things. No, 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 you dare. Stop it. All of you, please leave. I'm just going to sit here and wait for my mold to mold. Oh, she's sleepy. I'll let you go to sleep, girly girl. Any more mold? Any more mold? Just like, when's the toxic mold going to be right? Oh, she's dazed. Oh! From the mold. Chelsea feels funny from the weird growth sporadically infesting her home. The moral of the story is these mold piles are no good. Go have some breakfast. There's just the one mold that I can see. So far, no one has commented to me that they have mold in their place too. Oh God, her glutes are on fire from squatting on the toilet and she's really hungry. She's not feeling her best self, but I don't think she's quite dead yet. I'm sorry, Chelsea. I would never want to kill you. I really should have downloaded another sim I didn't like. Now that she's ready to go, let's go visit the other units today. Check in on everybody. See if they have mold. Just want to see if you got mold. And if so, don't touch it. Hey, your house is looking really nice. Mold free. Honestly, she doesn't have any mold. Let's go visit the Sure. I'm still feeling dazed from the mold. I wonder if it'll give you a cold. Come on in. Just checking in. Honestly, it's a beautiful home. Let's ask about rental conditions. Be like, is everything okay? Any issues I need to to discuss with you, sir. He's watching TV in the bedroom, apparently. Da- what? He doesn't seem to like the- What do you not like about it? You don't even have any mold. Charity gift drive. It's time to do good with the charity gift drive. Take part by donating items to share the generosity. Okay, I gotta go to the mailbox. Oh, look at this mailbox. This mailbox is cute. Mail item for charity. I needed an item, but I can also snoop in people's mail. This is probably why he doesn't like me. I'm gonna go introduce myself to this guy over here. I mean, I guess we gotta go pick us something else out to donate to charity. Oh, feast! Give me a gift. That's so nice. She gave us starter flowers. Lovely tenants from commending tenants. They're like family. People like can slowly squeeze for cash, but family still. This guy's on my list, but they don't have any mold. So my house is the only one with mold right now. I need to find a gift so I can give it to the charity, unless I just give the seeds she just gave me to charity, but that feels a little icky. I'm gonna go home. Bye everyone. I'm gonna do my charity gift drive. Yeah, I guess I'll donate those flowers. I feel guilty but 
but I don't know how to get another item to donate. I'm just shocked that the other houses don't have mold yet when we had mold so quickly. Ooh, we got some new soup. Samosa by itself is already perfect. Who doesn't love deep fried anything, especially if it's filled with a spicy variety of veggies and meat. But someone chose to push the envelope, add samosa to a rich lentil soup, creating a popular street food. Oh, that sounds delicious. We're gonna make up this fun soup. Oh, and she's gonna use the pot. I think it's the Instant Pot. She can put it in there. Nope, that looks really good though. I would love to eat. Oh God, is it bad? Did she do a bad job? No, it's quality poor. Okay. Look, it's my friend, Alan. Take it out my garbage. Alan, you're so nice. Be like, hey, is the conditions okay? No, why did none of them like the housing conditions? Can I check on that? It's going down. I don't know why it's going down. Why is he very angry? I feel so uncomfortable right now. I'm trying to be a good property owner. Maybe he's mad at me because I kept him from taking care of that mold. Maybe she can give me a little truth. No, I don't want to ask because sometimes they don't like it. A successful event, local charities are feeling the kindness. As a result, the unit rating went up. Yeah, is she okay? She just keeps taking showers, but she doesn't doesn't need to. Is it from being dazed because of the mold? Oh, she's gonna go spy autonomously. I did not choose her to spy. She wants to confront about a secret. Is this too mean? Uh, Chelsea can't oh, totally think that's all the possible tea. Discover a secret about a sim by snooping on their things or eavesdropping on them. And then you choose to confront about the secret. You can find this interaction in the friendly conversation. That is so interesting. Can you have another job? You can, you could be property owner and have a job. That's interesting. I didn't think about that. Well, I keep expecting a maintenance event to happen. Takes a lot longer to kill a sim with mold than I was expecting it to be. A unit rating changed. The unit rating just changed by a whole star. Check out the own business panel for more details. Top tier. I'm on level five, even though there's mold. Tenant revolt. What the flip? We're getting a revolt. Your time has come. The household has endured bad living conditions for far too long and appears they're on the brink of staging a revolt. What is that? What do you mean? just gave me a five-star rating on the location. Try sending a conciliatory letter via the mail or visit the unit promptly to address their concerns before your unit rating potentially takes a hit. Okay, promise your better conditions to your tenant and call your property owner and ask for better conditions. Well, I am the property owner. Let's go try to track down these, oh my God, this man. Where is he? Let's promise some better conditions. I'm gonna go promise things that I don't intend to keep. They all went away. I can't believe it went from top tier to tenant revolt. That's hilarious to me. I guess I can check on it again. I don't know what they're upset about. They don't even have mold in their home. Do you have mold? I'm still not seeing any mold in their home. It's like perfectly fine. You guys are being dramatic. Maybe I can promise the little girl better conditions. I'm gonna make it so much more beautiful here. Let's see if there's anyone else in this house. It looks like everyone's gone for the day except for this child. No one stays here and watches her. The guy's in front here. All right, I'm checking on your appliances. They look fine. Oh my God, are you serious? We were friends. What is their problem with me? What have I done wrong? Unit rating is not low enough. I asked him about rental conditions and they didn't tell me any issues. Your efforts have been acknowledged and the community has accepted your gestures of conciliation. Great job settling out the problem. I'm gonna go home and sleep because I'm exhausted. She wants to come hang out. Girl, you were just protesting me outside. I don't know about that. But yeah, totally. Come on over, girl. Let's have a little combo away from the mold, which is not growing in my home. And I've noticed no mold in either of your guys' homes, so I don't really know what's going on. Oh, she's cringe. Yeah, we knew that. And she's a secret agent. She's so cool. Let's serve some dinner. Maybe we'll make it in the Instant Pot here. Mango sticky rice. That sounds really yummy. She is exhausted, but she's making like a really cute little cooking in progress. Oh, she's gonna pass out. Don't mind me. You know, you did come over and I was sleeping because I was working all day on making sure that your family doesn't put me out of business, but it's all good. Would you like some mango sticky rice? We're having just girl chat. We brought our sticky rice in the bathroom. Not the coolest move, Chelsea. And she's gonna pass out in the bathroom. Nope, she's gonna pass out on the porch. While the girl's like, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, no problem, girl. I guess I'm gonna go to sleep. All right, Chelsea, to bed with you. What, we're getting haunted? I didn't know that could happen. Scrub the spores off. There are mold piles nearby. Yeah, we're gonna exercise the ghost. Oh God. All right, let's confront the ghost. Hey dude, 
Not cool. Did you die from mold? Great job taking care of that haunted ghost. As a result, the unit rating went up. Did it really? Well, I didn't see it, but that's fine. Maybe I need to clean up the mold because no new mold is growing. So I guess we'll clean it and see what happens. It's the only thing I haven't tried yet. She's still pretty dazed, but no more mold. Oh, Cam wants to come over. That's okay. I cleaned up the mold, so you won't be uncomfy. Come on, sweet baby angel. You can hang out with Chelsea. Oh, is this, is this poor again? Oh my God, it looks like it's poor. Yeah. She just really doesn't know how to make that soup. Maybe we can just grab some leftovers. Where's she going? She's gonna go spy on someone. What a creep. She's following her down the street. No wonder her tenants don't really like her. She's just following girls down the street. Where is she going? She said hi to someone. I don't even know what's over here. This is a cute little spot. Now she's gonna go spy on Dara. I don't even know where Dara is. Oh, she's over there. Well, we're facing the wrong direction. More mold has appeared. Again, not the mold we need. This is like the one spot where the mold likes to show up. I thought there'd be more spots. Oh my god, she just went out to spy on her neighbor. It's so creepy. I don't like it. Oh, I have to scrub the sporos off my own body. I thought it was on the shower. Look at me sparkling. Oh my gosh, I can make the whole place shimmer. Look at the sparkling. <gasps> Toxic mold! We did it! Toxic mold pile. A wild toxin mold pile has just appeared on your lot. Letting it fester could result in dire consequences for your sim. Tip, clean dirty plumbing objects in a timely manner to ensure mold doesn't grow. I'm so gonna not do that. Let's play in it. Oh, this is just my trash. All right, our mold has happened. A part of me wants to like make that man that was mean to me come downstairs and deal with the mold, but I will not. I will sacrifice my beloved Chelsea for science instead because I don't want to break up a family, even though they're Sims. So far, Chelsea has no problem. She's showering every five seconds. What is with this? She just showered. She was kind of uncomfy. Where was it? Where was it? Uncomfortable. Oh no. Too much mold exposure has caused Chelsea to develop a case of toxic mold and 46 minutes. Oh no, this is not a good sign. Poor Chelsea. Does this mean that we're gonna die soon? This is exciting. She's on the computer. I feel kind of guilty that I've killed my sim, but also I'm, I'm thrilled. I want to see the new death and I didn't cheat at all. I'm proud of me. Two hours. Okay, we have mild moldenitis. Watch the cooking channel and learn something. Okay. Oh, it's grown. Look at it. Ew. It's given us quite a few at a time. I thought that that was really gonna have us. Now it's saying five hours. She's cleaning up her food. Oh, she's uncomfortable from the mild mold. She's dazed. Severe moldenitis. 20 minutes. Chelsea's head feels cloudy. Maybe Chelsea's imagining things, but it's almost as if she has something festering on her skin. Ew, does she? I'm not seeing anything festering on her skin, but that's pretty gross. The whole mold thing, I, I have to admit, just reminds me of The Last of Us. Getting worse. Two hours. She fell asleep once again on her couch, which is very cute. <gasps> Explosive malfunction. The neighbors have reported a huge sound of explosion from 11B Sungai Point of the Lin household's unit. They're scared of something else is gonna blow. Visit the unit to sort out the problem or hire a contractor of the phone. Oh my God, it got bigger. It's gotten bigger. Ah, it's so gross. It's so stinky. All right, and someone exploded. Okay, so let's go. Oh my God, is she okay? Wait, look at her. And there's more mold over here now too. Another toxic mold pile. Hello? Wait, if we talk to this woman, are we gonna accidentally give it to her? Are we like patient zero right now? Oh my God, is she okay? Oh God, she's like walking kind of funny. This is not good. I'm very uncomfortable. Deadly moldenitis. Seriously, Chelsea's moldenitis has developed so much it almost feels deadly. The mold has taken over her body and is too late to endure and survive. I don't know. I feel like I just welcomed this elderly woman into my toxic home. We're looking like we're gonna throw, oh my God, we just threw up. This is actually making me kind of sad. I love Chelsea. I hate that I decided I would kill her. Let's kick her out so she doesn't mess with my toxic mold. I think you should really get going. I gotta see what this explosion is about before I imminently die. But she's still a working gal, okay? She's a boss going to check on it even though she's in her last hours of life. Hurry right, before you die. Okay, let's check and see what exploded here. Looks like she's got an issue with her electronics here. Not to worry, I'll come replace it for you. Smooth job taking care of the explosive malfunction. Oh my God, and I just vomited all over her floor. Oh no, I tracked it into my girl's room. I'm like spreading it. This is so creepy. She okay? I'm gonna go nap. 
in a chair in my bestest room. I don't think that's a good idea, Chelsea. I don't know if you should be sleeping right now. She's feeling really sick. Uncomfortable plus 99 and she's itchy. Oh God, she's really dazed now. Severe, wait, why are we severe again? Are you kidding me? I thought it was in the deadly mode. Let's go home. I accidentally spread it to your house. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Oh my God, it went away on my skin, no. It's because we were hanging out in a house that didn't have as deadly of mold as my house. Let's watch our cooking channel and hang out with our spores. There we go. Oh God, it zoomed in on Chelsea. Is she okay? <gasps> She's dead by mold. It's happening. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Is this like, all the mold grew on me. Oh my God. <gasps> Chelsea, no. Oh my God, we collapsed in a toxic pile of mold. Wow, RIP Chelsea. That was kind of fun to watch, honestly. The new death is interesting. It's interesting how you can spread it from place to place by like vomiting up toxic mold into other homes. There was a lot of time to like avoid this end. So it does make me feel a little better that in my Sims, if my household does have mold, it's not gonna be a instant death sentence for the Sim. Game over. Or is it? The last Sim in this household has died, but you can create more Sims. Choose an existing household to play or move another household in from the gallery. Well, this is where I leave you all. I hope you enjoyed this little foray into the new expansion pack, checking out all of the new ins and outs of being a landowner and murdering my favorite Sim. It's been an emotional roller coaster. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see with this new pack. Are you going to be buying it? Are you excited to try it? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!